Good morning, Michelle here. Uh, going to try and beat the rain today. It's uh, supposed to come, hopefully not until later. I was at the track on Saturday. It was nice, so I was just playing with some stuff and I um, thought I'd do a new workout. Uh, I got a 20 pound kettlebell and I got some arm guards uh, for my arms. I was trying snatches and they were banging into my arms. I, I gotta work on them and we're not doing them today. Uh, we're gonna do some couplets. So we're gonna, I, I ran at the track. I did quarter mile sprints, um, but since we're at the house and you probably won't have that option, we're gonna throw jump rope in instead in between um, each of these sets. And we'll do 10 second break, 50 second work and we'll do five rounds, so it'll be five minutes of jump rope. Uh, you go however comfortable you are. If you, if you need to stop and take breaks in that 50 seconds, you go ahead. If you need a longer break in between them, you take it, uh, work at your own pace. We're gonna start out with the first, I don't wanna say it's a couplet because we're gonna do a right arm, left arm. Um, so it's gonna be a clean and press and then a swing. It's a swing squat though, so as we're squatting, we're gonna swing the weight up. Instead of swinging and flinging the weight up, we're gonna actually squat and swing at the same time. So I'll show it to you. And then we'll go into the jump ropes. And we have one, two, three, four sections with jump ropes in between. And the last section, we're gonna use the straps. I'm gonna let them out. If you don't have the straps, you can use a stability ball or a bench. Um, the bench won't roll. It just makes it a little more unstable, but we're going to be doing lunges So it would be like a single leg balance squat is what you'd be doing a single leg uh, lunge and That's it. I, I don't think I need to explain anything else. I'll go through it as we do it Let's get started. You're gonna set your timer uh, for stopwatch for the first part and then I have it set for the jump rope rounds. If you don't have a jump rope, you can do high knees. You can um, jump and tap your feet to a ball or a platform. So it'd be tap, 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 or high knees. Okay, it's up to you or the jump rope. My floor is a little slick. So when I do lunges, I'm gonna have to be careful because uh, I'm going to travel with these. Turn this on. I had to turn the fan on. It's humid out here this morning. Okay. So the first one we're going to do, oh, and these are my arm guards. Um, everybody's got different ones on the web. I couldn't tell. I hit Walmart, and they look like, um, I think they're for baseball or football, but I'm going to try them for the swings and the cleaning presses and see how they do. I'll let you know. I know they're sort of cumbersome and big, um, I'm not sure they were the only things they had. So I look like, I guess if they were gold, it could be Wonder Woman deflecting bullets. I don't know. But I'm going to put one on each arm for now. I think it's going to be hard to get them off. I'm not sure. But for $14, I thought I'm going to give it a whirl because everything else had to be ordered online and it's hard to tell. So if anybody has any recommendations, I would um, greatly appreciate that. Just put them in the comment box. I am going to try the 20 pound kettlebell because the 15 felt light when I was at the park, at the track. So we are doing a right arm kettlebell clean and press and then right into a right arm swing squat, 10, 10. Then we're going to switch and do the left arm, 10, 10. And then we're going to go back and forth for three rounds. Then we'll go into the jump ropes, okay? So let's set the timer. Clean and presses are first. One, two. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell. Three, four, side so that you can see the swing squat okay two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch to the left arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you don't have as heavy a weight and you want to go more repetitions, nine, you go right ahead. You should be breathing hard when you get to those last three. Swing squats. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right arms next. This is the second round. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, four, eight, two more, nine, one more, ten, swing squat, get in that squat position, low, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Left arm. If your weight isn't as heavy and you want to keep them all on the right and then go to the left, you could do that. You'll really feel it. Two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Swing squat, and then one more time through on each arm. Okay? One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do that right arm. Third round. One, two, three, four. Push it up there. Five. Want to see that hand straight when you go up. Don't let that wrist bend. Seven, three more. Eight, nine, and ten. Swing squats are next with the right arm. Get in that down position. One, two, three, four, sit that butt back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left arm, last time. One, two, three. Ab 
abs are tight, back is straight when you drop down. Five, five more. Six, and we're gonna get ready to jump rope. Seven, three more. Two more. One more. Four. Okay, I can feel 20. Okay, swing squat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm gonna pull the wrist guards off. I'm guessing they're just gonna roll down my arm like so. Stop my timer. That took us seven minutes and eight seconds. I don't know because I didn't carry anything over to the track except the stuff that I needed. So if you pull them inside out and slide them right off. This will give you a little break. I'll get better. There we go, 706. I'll get better at that. It might take you longer if you're doing more repetitions, but it's a controlled thing. Okay, timer goes on to rounds. So, it looks like this. 10 second break, 50 second mark, five rounds. You can follow along with me, or if you have a timer and you're gonna do it at a different time, if that's too much, you set it for what you feel comfortable doing. Set it for 50, take breaks if you need to. You get your 10 second break and then we're jumping. chest lifted, holding your abdominals and bring those legs up. Don't look down, look up.
break and you want to jump straight through for the five minutes, you go right ahead. But get ready for the next part. goes off. I just don't want it running in my eyes. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you should feel it, four, three, two, and one. You ready for that lunge? I'm not going to use the kettlebell. I want you to focus on the movement. So right leg leads, cross over in the front, turn to the left shoulder, left, cross over and turn, right, cross over, left. Now bring your feet together. Now I'll do the left. That one's five. Here's six. And then I'm gonna come back forward, turn, step together, right leg's leading, right, cross it, left behind, right, cross it, left behind, bring it together, now the left foot, left, cross, right behind, left, turn and cross, and then the right, bring them together, now the right leg, I even wipe this off and turn the fans on. It's just really humid today because it's going to rain. Bring them together, left lead. Cross over in front, turn, have your staggered feet. Right leg comes back, now left, and then right, and you bring them together and we lead with the left. Left, turn, right, turn, left, Turn, right, so much easier on the black top. Left, cross over, right, cross over. Left, cross over, right, cross over. Together, now the right leg. We're doing 20 of these. This should be the last time through. because you have to do the right and the left. Step them together. Sorry, I can't talk and do it. Now the left. Left, turn, right, turn. Left, turn, right, turn. Step together. Now the left. Let's take it back. Left, turn, right, turn. Keep your feet staggered. Step it, turn. Now you bring them together when you turn. And now you lead with the right. Right, turn, left, turn. Right, turn, left, turn and step together. Back to the squats. 20 squats, 20 of the walking combo lunges. Oh, I don't want the 20. I can feel it with the 15. Down, hold and pulse. One, down, hold and pulse. Two, down, hold and pulse. Three, down, four, five, six. Make sure you're pressing through the heels as you come up. Nine, ten. Keep that chest lifted. Ten more. Nine. Don't lean forward to come up. Focus the weight in the heels. Here's six. Five. My hips feel it. Four. Three. Two, and 
one. This was a fun one at the track. I worked my way around the track with this one. So I would do the squats and the walking combo. And where I left off, I'd run the quarter mile. I'd come back to my kettlebell, do the squats, do the walking combo, and I had to hold it, so I was tired. Right, turn, left, that's one. Here's two, turn, three. Now step together and lead with the left. This one's four. And then you're gonna step together and you're gonna lead with the right. Five, turn. Here's six, turn. Step together. Here's seven, turn. Keep them staggered. Eight, turn. Step together. Lead with the right. Nine, turn. Ten. Now step them together on this one. Now lead with the left. Eleven. Here's twelve. Step them together and you're going to lead with the left. Thirteen. Now step them together and you're going to lead with the right. Fifteen. Sixteen. Here's seventeen. Eighteen. Step them together. Nineteen. And twenty. Okay, one more time with the squats. Twenty of these. Weight in the heels. Sit back there. One. Squeeze that butt when you come up. Squeeze it together. Three. Four. Five. Six. Step together and lead with the right. 
eight, nine. Now step together, and you're going to lead with the left. Ten. And then step together when you turn, and you're going to lead with the right. Well, the back leg is always the one coming forward to cross over. There's 13. See, back leg. Now 14. And 15. Sorry about that. 18, or is that 19? This one must be 20. It's got to be the even line, even number. Woo, okay. Stop that stopwatch. 11.49 on those. You should be taking your time, really concentrating on doing those lunges. And we did 20 instead of 10. So 11.49. Now we're gonna do the jump rope. And then I have one that you should know we did in another one. It's the sumo box. 10 and 50, five rounds. Towel off and get a drink if you need to. Pause and take a break if you need to. You can take breaks when you need them. Otherwise, we're gonna keep going. Get that 10 second break and that jump rope. Like I said, if you're advanced and you wanna do a total of five minutes, you go right ahead. I did these at the track, not jump rope, but those last lunges, like I said, as a walking series around the track. So it was awesome because then I do the quarter mile and run around and end up where I was until I work my way back to all of my gear in the starting position. It's fun to play when you have a big open space, but we can modify it and do just as much if you don't have that open space. No excuses. sweat today. I come home. I laughed on Saturday. They were all in bed. I come home and they all looked at me like I was just beat up in a fight club. I was all sweaty. Hair all slicked back. Bruises on my arms. Just totally wiped out. But I played around and did different things. So thought I'd incorporate them in. that stomach in. Don't let it hang out and jiggle. Keep it tight. Breathe. Oh, I cherish that 10 second break.
So, this one's a pretty long workout. If you don't have the time to do the whole thing, you can do the first half today and the second half on another day because these first two parts that we did are actually like, until you add it up, almost 30 minutes. You could do it quicker without me talking and breaks in between, moving from one to the next. But it's a good workout on its own. We're just gonna go further. I think we have one more. Here I look. We can do it one more time. Push it, make it work, work hard. Don't give up. small spot and we're going to do all of our walking stuff then we'll do the jump rope for the quarter mile okay so but it was fun like I said it was fun to play out there and, and try um, I, I think I'll stay on the mat for the walking ones just to be safe so sumo squat is first if you want to pick up a weight you pick up a weight if you don't you don't have to in that in that sumo squat position down Stay low and walk. We're doing 20 of these. There's five, six, seven. Now I'm going to go back. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, stay low, 16, 17, 18, 19, Whew. and 20. I'm not going to move for these, but it would look like this, out and in. 
out, pull in. Three, and in. Four, if you don't have the space, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, it's sort of across between a walking lunge and a side lunge. Well, it is. It's a diagonal walking lunge. Here's 16. Woo! 17. <laughs> 18. That's why I'm not walking. One more. Okay, so it's gonna be side lunges here. I can do, I can do the uh, sumo squats. I just can't walk on this this morning. I even wiped it up. It's just super humid today. One, two, keep those feet wide. Three, four, drop that bottom to the floor. Here's six, I'm gonna go back. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Going back. Thirteen, fourteen. You should feel your butt burning. Fifteen, sixteen. I came a little high on that one. Seventeen. 18, 19, and 20. Drop that weight. If the weight gets to be too much, do it without the weight. Focus on the glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 19, 20, oh, okay, one more time, you should feel it, we have individual legs last, I saved them for last, I got to focus on my balance a little bit more, one, two, three, My hamstrings and my glutes are screaming. Seven. Keep it low. Keep those legs parallel with the floor. Here's ten. Eleven.
patio out back, especially when we start swimming. And I think that's the problem. If I lay a carpet remnant down, I'm gonna have to roll it up and roll it back out every time. But I hate to be limited on these things. I need to th think through that. What are we on? Is this one 14? 14? No, th that one's gotta be 14. There's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Oh, sweat rolling in my eyes. We got jump ropes again. I know you're happy about that. 649 on that one. This is a mystery sweat. I didn't know how long because they didn't take a timer or anything over. I just literally went over until I was exhausted. Okay, jump rope is next. I'm gonna get right into this. And then we are gonna use the straps for single leg uh, reverse lunge and, and uh, a squat with the leg going out to the side. I did them before in one of my other workouts. If you don't have the straps, I will, I brought the stability ball out. I'll show you with the ball. Five rounds. Abs are tight, hold them in. Suck those abs in. Stay upright, keep the chest lifted. Look up, don't look down. Keep that chin up.
smiling as I'm jumping rope. I need a drink a minute. Thinking about my mistakes, my slip ups. You can turn me into a drinking game. <laughs> you can watch each time I go, woo, and I mess up. <laughs> you have to drink. Uh, I don't drink. <laughs> I'll have a drink every once in a while, but I just know everybody turns everything into a drinking game. <laughs> I, um, we have one more set. I need a drink. Okay. We have one more round. One more couplet. I should say. It's not a couplet. I can't call it a couplet. There's four of them. We're going to do, I'm going to show you with the straps. If you don't have these, it's okay. You can use a stability ball. Actually, a lot of you don't probably have them. So, if you have a stability ball, if you don't, use a bench. The ball is nice because it creates a little bit of an unstable, you got to balance to do this, okay? Maybe I should do a segment where I do it on the ball because it's tricky. I got to be, I think I got to bring my ball further back so that I can pop my leg further out. There we go. And you're going to drop down. See how the ball rolls? Woo! <laughs> down and up. Now, if you need to, to keep the ball from rolling, you can put it against the wall and you can hop your foot out. Now the right leg's going up first, okay? I can't talk and do this, but there we go. See, now the ball won't roll. It's still gonna be hard, but it's not gonna roll around on you and probably torque your knee if you, I don't have good balance, that's why we're doing this. Okay, it's my fault, but when you go down, you want to drop that bent right knee behind you down towards the floor. You want to keep that left knee lined up with the ankle, so your foot has to be out far enough that when you squat down, it doesn't go, the knee doesn't go past your toe. We're going to do 10 with the right leg, and then we're going to bring the ball out to the, with the, still with the right leg up, and you're going to go out and pull in, out and pull that knee in, out and pull it in. Now, if you want to, we're going to do it on the straps. If you have the straps and your balance isn't good, you can use a ball, you can use a step stool, a table, anything to hold yourself in place. So, your straps are set up, you interlace one between the other, handle-wise. Woo, don't roll into the pole. And we're going to start with the right leg. So the right leg is going to go in the strap. My legs are tired. Bear with me. There we go. And I didn't put my timer away. Stopwatch is on. If you want the ball, you can hold on to it. I don't want it because it's going to force me to lean forward. I don't want to lean forward. I want to work on my balance. So I'm going to push that bad boy out of the way. Hopefully it won't roll back here. I'm going to hop my foot out and you're going to lunge back and pull in. Back and in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Now I'm going to keep my foot in this strap and I'm going to come out so that I'm on the side. And I'm going to go out and pull in. Two, three, four, five, push that butt back. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. 
Now it'd be easy to do all on the right, but we're not going to do that. We're going to switch. And like the deadlifts that I did the other day, I have to focus on keeping my whole foot on the floor. Okay, I have a tendency to roll out and torque my knee. I've got to focus on rolling it in. Two, three. I know I'm going to feel it in my butt tomorrow. I can feel it now. Here's six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, turn. Okay, ready? One, two, <laughs> three, four. Seven, 
And then for the mountain climbers, you just do them on the floor. Okay? If you don't want to do the mountain climbers in the straps, you don't have to. You get down onto the floor and you do, we're going to do 20 of these. Break left equal one. I'm going to do everything in the straps. We are going to do this four times through. 10 repetitions of the knees in, of the knees to the side, right and left is one, and pike in. All of them are 10. Mountain climbers are 20, and they're right and left equal one, okay? Let me clear this out since I messed it up. Okay, see if I can set this one up right. If you're getting in straps, get into your straps now. See if I can do this, there we go. Kneel down a minute, set my timer, and we are ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pike, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that was a bad one, nine, ten, mountain climbers, one, two, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, nineteen, twenty, Woo! take a break a minute, stretch out the wrists, can you feel them, if you need to come down out of the hooks, come down out of the hooks, We've got three more sets. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Are you ready? Up you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to readjust, sorry. Okay, you ready? One, two, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Woo! Pikes are next. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, 
Ten. One. Oh my gosh, my legs are burning. Five, six, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eight, nine. Okay, I'm taking my feet out of the straps a minute. Wiping the sweat. We'll go in a minute. I can feel them. Gonna feel them tomorrow. Get a drink if you need one. And we'll go back and do the last two sets. When you do these, don't let your back sag. Engage your core. Even if you have to drop down and take breaks, or don't do as many, but you want to keep the core, you want to keep your abs engaged. You want to keep the core tight when you do them. Even the mountain climbers, you shouldn't be sagging on those. Okay, we ready? One, two, three, four, five, Nine, ten. Take a break a minute. Walk those hands around. I can feel it in my wrists a little bit. I'm going to keep my hands on the towels. Okay, you ready for the side to side knees? Right? Two. 
three, four,
either way and drop down back is on the floor pull the knees in feel that stretch down the hamstring and the glutes drop the knees to the right and the arm to the left keep that left shoulder on the floor and feel the stretch through the oblique and the hips breaths. On this next exhale, inhale here. Exhale, roll the knees over to the left and the arm to the right. Keep that right shoulder on the floor. Feel that stretch through the shoulder and the chest. Stack those hips. Feel that pull in the waist. Oblique, right oblique, down the exterior and the interior and you're hitting the hips as well. up, pull the knees in, reach between the legs, grab the heels, press the elbows out with the knees, or press the knees out with the elbows, and feel that stretch on the inner thigh. And release. Okay, I want to spin my carpet, I want to show you, or my mat, I want to show you real quick I'm not sure if this is good if I can do it with the, if I can do the diagonal walking lunges if it's wide enough to to do the movement. I think because it's a rectangle, I should be able to. Now I'll, I'll start in the corner over here. But the walking diagonal lunge that I can't do on this floor is literally a step out and together, out and together. So it is a it is a side, it's a walking diagonal side lunge. Step out, pull together. So if you're on carpet, you could do these. They're awesome. You really feel them in the inner thigh. Um, I just, I can't do it on this floor out here unless I and find something to put down. So one more time, you walk out diagonal side lunge, pull that leg in. So you pull the, you walk out with the right leg and you pull the left leg in. Walk out with the left and pull the right leg in. Don't let the knee go past the toe. You wanna to keep it lined up with the ankle and pull in. You'll feel it in the inner thighs. I did that one at the track, it was a lot of fun. I have some other stuff I did at the track. I have to see if I can do it on the mat so that you can get it. That was your workout. Sorry, I think I forgot to hit the timer again, so it went longer through the stretches. But it'll be on the it'll be on the mycrazyworkout.com. I will have the entire breakdown on there and the entire video. It is long. It takes me a while to upload it. Um, you see I start at like 8 o'clock in the morning, but till I actually get it up there, I know it's like in the afternoon because it just takes that long to get it loaded onto the computer and onto YouTube. So um, I just plan on doing it the next day, but I hope you enjoyed the workout and I will see you soon. Have a good day.